<laughs> I'm Tommy Jack 2 4 away from CBE Nation. Yeah, I'm Ed Rex, CBE Everything. All right, now Riri told me very last minute ish that we had some guests coming, so I didn't get a chance to get prepared, Riri, damn it, that y'all had some guests coming. But hey, we here. We, we have. have. And technically, here. Riri is a guest, because technically she's with them, because they all in business together right now. Most definitely. So, what, what y'all got coming up going on? I mean, we mostly into the movies right now. Uh, it's my third movie that I'm working on. The first one was Unplugged, 248. Second one was Plugged in, 248. And now we're doing uh, SMA Shipping, which just dropped about 15 minutes ago. It premiered on YouTube. So make sure y'all go check that out on CBE TV 248. All right, now what, what made you start making movies? Huh? Honestly, I just got tired. I went to school. Uh, at Spec Howards because I got tired of everybody getting my videos wrong. Like, I always had a vision on what I wanted to do. Right. And people really didn't capture my vision the way I wanted it. So I just went on a limb was like, okay, let me try this. Now, you went to Spec Howard. What was Spec Howard like? It was cool. It was just like getting to meet a lot of people with the same vision that you had. And I think that was one of my best experiences just going through that. Okay. All right. I just had to ask. We had a couple people from Spec Howard. Uh, come through, and I'm not gonna name their names because they didn't really say nothing too positive about y'all niggas. So I'm not really gonna say their names. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if they still are old there or whatever. Yeah. But um, so what did you do? They do they have like majors or something? Or it's it's like broadcast and stuff. It's um, I did digital media oh, arts, okay. like. Because, like I say, I wanted to shoot my own music videos, mm -hmm. and ain't nobody going to do something how you going to do it for yourself. So okay. I always look at stuff like that, you know? Okay, all right. Now, are you the Dr. Dre type director? Like, you direct the end, you edit? I do. I direct. I do the music. I do the editing. I do the the scripts. Uh, all Everything. That's Spike Lee. I mean, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Spike Lee is a terrible actor, so I didn't want to say that. Oh. <laughs> See, honestly, honestly, I don't even be trying to be in my movies like that, but I'm, so, I'm the type of person where... If somebody if somebody's procrastinating or whatever and stuff, I'm gonna get it done regardless. And I set that camera up and walk in front of it. You see what I'm doing right now? I'm recording myself and we live. <laughs> Definitely recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, yeah, what was your first movie you ever made? Uh, Unplugged two four eight. I uh, started filming it when I was in school. Actually, mm -hmm. everybody else wanted to do music videos, and I was the only person there that even thought about doing movies. So I figured that'd put me in a lane of my own. And as of now. I think it was, I believe it was another Pontiac movie made, because we from Pontiac. But nobody really picked up on it, so this is like the first Pontiac movie that people really just grasping on to and embracing. Okay. So. Both of y'all from Pontiac? Yeah, we're yeah, from Pontiac. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, for sure. Now, I, I heard this myth when I moved to Michigan, that Detroit niggas and Pontiac niggas at one point didn't get along. Oh, yeah, that was very true. But at the same time, they so much alike. I can't say that. I've been back and forth my whole life. Okay. It's like like when I when I feel when I be in Detroit, I don't feel no type like like I get embraced. It's it's more like a mutual type thing. So I, I don't really feel that, but I I remember back in the days where it was a lot of back and forth stuff. So okay, all right. It was just one of the stories I heard, and a nigga told me at the east side and the west side. I'm like, how? Ah, Detroit's not that damn big. Like it's, it's Pontiac, big, but it ain't that damn big always. even from the size. Like but, yeah, like but Pontiac got what fifty, sixty thousand people in total. So everybody that you come encounter with, you gonna see at the store. We only got what we got two high schools. Well, now we got one. So you know, it's like you can't really be beefing them with people and not expecting to run into them. So it's better to keep the peace. That's what I say about Inkster. Yeah. Like it, it, seriously, like y there's only like a, a small. It's a small little town. So like, if you're beefing, you're gonna run into each other at some point, and someone's gonna, whatever, you have see, it. It's gonna pop off. Yeah. You real wild yeah. Now the, your chances of having beefs in Detroit is better because you're not gonna just cross their paths daily. But like these smaller towns, you're going to the same liquor store, same area. You know what I mean? Yeah. And see, we on a smaller scale with that. Like I say, how many? It's it's maybe eight, nine liquor stores. Like I say, it's one high school there now. What uh, most of our stuff in Pontiac got shut down, so it's like it, it's kind of hard, especially doing what we trying to do because we don't have as much. Like I, sometimes we just slide out to the D to get scenery and stuff because they took so much from our city. And it's like right now it's trying to get like revived and people actually trying to invest back into the city, but. It's gonna it's gonna be a little while for it. Like it, my uh my cousin just started the f first black owned uh uh black first owned school for marijuana. 
in Pontiac, downtown Pontiac. So that's another big thing, and that's gonna bring a lot of money into the city. So. Okay. All right. All right. I'm throwing it over to my brother on my left side. Hey, what's going on, bro? How long have you been active, man? Man, I've been active. I say like uh, as far as like professionally. Mm -hmm. Or just uh, period. Uh, man, my whole life on the music scene, uh, acting. I've always been into that. I went to Specs College as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? In 2013, shout out to Specs. That's what's up, man. That's yeah, I up. see. I, I've been doing this since I've been nine years old. I uh, lived in California for a little bit and picked up a nice buzz out there. One thing I can't say about California, they show a lot of love. I don't even care. Like, like if, if if they just like mess with you in general, they 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 gonna be behind you one hundred percent. Like in our city, it's kind of harder, even though we smaller, cause everybody in competition with each other. And and it's really so much dope artists. It's like if we came together, like we got a, we got a uh a, a artist out of Pontiac. Pontiac made DDG. He's like famous right now and really doing this thing and stuff. But I don't even really see the city getting behind him. And that's I, I find that kind of weird, you know. Yeah, man, that is kind of. I don't know if it's because he's got like everything is in house with him. Like he got his own producer, his own dudes that make his videos. They're all his homies. Yeah, so he yeah. kind of got like a small circle. And niggas really don't like that. They're like, well, you just beating your niggas. You ain't beating everybody. Yeah. And niggas feel stuck way about that. But don't be hating, man. Yeah, like, that's yeah. not that's not the way to eat. As long as you calling up, you get to it. That's all. It, it's already yeah. love, already respect. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now to you broke bum niggas out there in the world, I feel bad for you. Get talk on your ground. Talk, talk to him. I would sit up here and say I'm pray for you, but I'm not. Talk, talk to him. Nah. Nah. So um, I <laughs> hope hope you have a horrible day. I ain't going to say that far, <laughs> but if he did have a horrible day, I'm not going to say I'm just going to bother me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. Got to put obstacles oh. in all our way, our places. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas are broke. Some are bums. Hey. Some of y'all are ugly. And <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just got to, I don't got the solution for you, right. but um, that's it. Somebody did. I don't know what to say <laughs> to you after that. You know what I'm saying? Life sucks sometimes. Say it is what it is. Yeah. So, so mean. Remember, you got a question real quick? Because I was about to ask him something. Go ahead. I'll go after you. So both of y'all went to college. Yes, sir. Why? Oh, seriously? You, I'm, I'm firmly you, against education. Because you know why? Because no nobody around me I see really doing it. I'm always been the type of person that's going to step outside the box of what mm -hmm. everybody else trying to do. If I see everybody going left, I'm going to turn right. Unless we in a shooting situation and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I'm running out the crowd. I know, you, you know. Still, you can't say that on the radio, bro. On, I, I didn't cut, so I should be good. Right? Yeah, you fine. Yeah, you fine. That's still right. one of the lighter things we gonna say in this hour, or whatever. Uh, uh, you know it. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, y'all missed the first half. We talking about you know, not raising kids. Yeah, time. man, we sorry about that. We got caught in traffic, rerouted. It's all good. You know, she told you know. me I had a little drive to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive to make. So, my brother, what kept you in school? I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like, really, man. Uh, like I said, I've been back and forth between Detroit and Pontiac. Like my, mm -hmm. like my pops from uh, Detroit, from the North End. You know what I'm saying? My grandma still down here. Uh, it's just like I was the first one in my family to ever go to college. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I did it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I didn't even. I never seen life past 18. So when I got 18, I didn't know what I was gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I gotta do something. College, it was cool. It really wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I did it mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since y'all did go to college, how was y'all? How was high school for y'all? High school, I was honestly the man. Like I don't want to say it like that, but like sports and like females always like. I got into a lot of fights. I might add because, mm -hmm. but that was mostly because of females. Because really, not necessarily. I might not even like it a female, but by a female liking me, oh, I don't like cause. And then I was back and forth from California and up mm -hmm. here. So oh, he in California. Know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I'm from the same city. So when they tried it and they found out, oh, half, I got so much family in my, you know, just at the school alone that I was at, but nobody was putting those dots into connection, you mm -hmm. know, so it, it didn't ever work out well for them. So. Okay. All right. Real quick, how old are you, brother? So I'm 29. 29. 34. 34. Okay. So when y'all was in high school, I want to see how far back this goes. Were females walking around like pregnant, looking crazy? Oh, Jesus. Hey, 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 look, look. That's a very good back. Hey, hey, at my high school, no, we had metal detectors, and the only way we can get our phones in the school was to sneak them in with pregnant girls because they didn't have to walk through the metal detectors. That's how much pregnant females we had at our school. Yeah, hot. I'm going to keep it real with you. Uh, yeah. Everybody was getting hit at my school. Every, what's up? Every, oh, every, my God. You're talking Keith's language, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. hit, brother. Shouts out to teenage pregnancy, damn it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Give it up. You know, you know, life, a long life 
ain't guaranteed. Yolo. Okay? So Yolo. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not do that. You know what You man. know, uh, oh, another shout out to you fools that actually try to raise that baby. You dummy. So, yeah. Keith, what if you got a girl pregnant? What if you got a girl pregnant in high school? Because I, I know how you are. I had some money in high school. So, would you would you take care of your baby? When you, you mean not, take we care just, of it, We just mean, had this conversation. Pressure. You mean like raise it or take care of handle the situation? <laughs> I'm talking about like take care of it. No. Of course you wouldn't. Hell no. Uh, we can get this abortion. Come about from high school? Yeah. You're did she, did she had them, he, Did she have them cheeks and potential? I mean, it don't really matter. I'm not ready to take care of no child. You know what I'm saying? I'm young. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to pause my life for a nigga I don't know. Like, I don't know you. You know what? Yeah. I, know. I had my first kid. I was 19, right? Uh huh. It did kind of changed me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, see, and me, I got two kids, but I don't have, like, two biological kids. But they're my babies. So, okay. I, you know, All right. You know, All right. You know. well, that's what's up. That's Shout what's out up. to Raya and Maddie, you know. Shout out to little you. babies. Aw. <laughs> that's, that's what's up. Yeah, I'm firmly against raising kids. <laughs> yeah, I said it earlier, but they didn't hear it, so I'm gonna say it but again. You, but you're firmly uh, a believer in smashing the chicks, but if you accidentally get them pregnant... You're going to just dip now, mind you. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take responsibility for my mistakes. Okay? Why mm -hmm. getting him an abortion? No, 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 not that. The part that's oh. getting your pregnant part. I should have I should have hey, been hey. more mindful of what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I sh I knew what was about to happen, but I didn't snatch out. I no, but y'all, but she let you do it. She part of this too. Exactly. You, you right. I didn't want to yeah. say that part. I was trying yeah, to be nice. Hey, because we can look at the end of the day, we gonna try it. It's up to y'all. To stop us. If y'all don't stop us, we, we ain't there. Right now. Yeah, we stop we right now. We live. Yeah. This is exactly how I want this interview to go, by the way. That is y'all decision. Wait, wait, that wait, is wait, wait. Decision. Okay, let's rewind. Stop what? Y'all supposed to be like, oh, no. We should go get a condom. Be concerned about it. You're supposed to be <laughs> But we might have it in our pocket, but we gonna try. We gonna, we gonna. Hey. No, no, no. Y'all gotta be but responsible. But if you don't, no, if you don't oh stop God. it, we both irresponsible. Look, I got a weak pull out game, y'all. <laughs> well, that's why, if that's the case, you need to be having a whole bunch of condoms. See, I, that was If a, you don't want no They baby. do feel different, by the way. It's a whole <laughs> different feel. Ask Keith what his slogan is. Tell him what your slogan is. Our slogan? Yeah. What's my slogan? The condom thing. Got a condom thing? Yeah. Is it printable? No, I don't pray. Right. No, do condoms. What, oh, it, condoms are trash. That's his slogan. I'm sorry. Condoms yeah. <laughs> but have you tried the bear skins? I, I kind of, them things oh ain't God. bad. They ain't bad. I'm telling Y'all about to make me. I haven't tried to use a condom. 50% thinner. Seven years. Keys, it's diseases out here that some of them you can't get a shot for. See, Rick hey. told me that. But hey. I'm, my logic was, if I'm getting hit oh my for God. like however long, Oh man. why would I turn around to put a condom on? Is it with no hands? Is it with hands? Because she might have something crawling down there. I ain't never got that. ain't in her mouth. I never got a champion. You're like missing that. out on life. Yeah, You're missing out on life, life, bro. Yeah, it was. It was. That means they don't care about their esophagus. None of that. I haven't been blessed. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Yeah. I tell my kids all the time and stuff like that. I be trying to teach them how to how to spell big words and stuff. The first, I'm like, if you, when you spell esophagus, you gonna be able to get some candy. Until then, you eating fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So she's a yeah. take off the wheels. <laughs> I really understand you're also a parent, and you took care of your children. That's a, that's amazing. That's great. Thanks. That's not the path for me. Sorry. All right. Now God chose where it's the path for me. And I can't, I can't go against how God made me. You're like 22. So? So when you're 25, 26, you might want a baby. I doubt it. Well, hold, oh, wait a minute. You 22 with a full beard, bro. I ain't yeah. grown man until I was about 28. Ain't yeah. that bad? <laughs> Hold, hold the hell up. Oh, God oh, oh, damn, bro. It ain't all the way where I want it. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Yeah, had a lot of, yeah, life been. Life been, life been treating you all right, man. Because yeah, I was, I was, I was, I didn't even know I can grow a beard. Like, I'm telling you. Ass rags. We're not bare facing it at all of my old shows. Jeez. Ask him how you got it. How did you get it? No, what? I went to the bar. Hey, I didn't cut my hair for like like three weeks, and I went to the barber shop. And my cousin, he a dope ass barber. They call him Eat a Barber on the internet. If you look him up on Instagram, he go crazy. Let me know what happened. What happened, Rex? You know what? I didn't know what the business out there like that because my boy, it's my partner. What happened, you know what man? Nation, CBE, CB248. Don't make me drop the book, bro. Yeah. You know I do movies. Don't do it. Um, 
Don't do it. Yeah, because you know I got some shit I can say. I'm mean, stuff I can say. I told you. We on the radio. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't going to say I ain't gonna say it more than twice, though. All right, we're going to see. I got a long show. I'm just going to say feces. Is that, is that okay? That's perfect. All right, feces. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, don't listen to me. Always find the audience. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Now, real quick, brother, how many movies do you currently got out right now? I'm working on my third one right now, but like I work at a pace where I could probably pop out a movie a month. I'm just so, I'm so like I actually enjoy what I'm doing. So like like even when PBS and other companies wanted me to come with them and stuff to do certain stuff, I always wanted to do my own thing and I wanted to have like my freedom of like like creativity. So I never wanted to go under the company. That's why I wanted like even even my bro right here, he's starting Rags Vision and stuff, which is pretty much is going to be a production company. And uh, like my girlfriend, she got Cali beads. She uh she make like chakras and all type of stuff. We are gonna do t shirts, just uh artist development, just just a little bit. Of, like I said, I've been doing music since I've been nine years old. It bit to the point where I feel like a lot of people don't focus on lyrics anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's to the point where it got boring to me because it's like I got a lot of stuff to say, and it's like. Boy, what's the song that got on my nerves the most? I don't want to hate on no What? Don't drop that. Dun, dun, dun. That pissed me off so bad. Just cause like I listen to this, listen, to, listen to this song, and this is what's popular. So it kind of discouraged me from that. But I am a dope artist, and I just got multiple talents. So you know. look, I need a favor. Because Keith wants to be in a movie and oh, he wants yeah. to get shot I and he wants murked. to die. He I wants to get murked. So can y'all put him in your movie so he can get shot? That's how you get married. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, look. Oh, Who I wants took, to be died, bro? But you, but you, but you know what? I got my camera equipment and what I'll be shooting the stuff right here. And I already plan to get the scene with y'all today anyway. So, oh, okay. Nice. And, see you know, you know. Uh, can we wait? Can I do my scene in a couple of days? I'm not dressed. You can do it. Oh, my God. You, you, you look beautiful, but you can do no. it whenever, you, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Whenever but, no, ready. I really need to, like, get into character because I'm playing the drug Queen you know what? I'll, you know what? I, cha I, I changed it up. You gonna be the plug in this movie, though. Yes. Like, you gonna be the plug. Come on, talk. It's like, see, you gotta see the movie just aired. Y'all gonna have to watch it so y'all can understand what I'm saying. Okay. okay. But you gonna be the connection in between the everything that's going on. Okay. I think you would be perfect for that. So. The Colombian connect. You know. Come Griselda to me, baby, but don't screw me over because I'm a. Take I was about out. to say, yeah. See, in real life, you gotta get. I gotta get. You gotta get around you. Like, cause you be like running the price up. Like in real life. You gotta get around you. You the issue. What you mean? You like the solution, but like I can't be that nigga till I go around you. I gotta get What's right to the. I gotta get right to the. Cause you the middle. You the one. You connect to the nigga. I gotta get to the nigga directly. Cut you <laughs> no mm -hmm. I am the connect. Are you mm -hmm. Yes, ain't nobody above me. I'm oh, okay. that shit. All right. All right. That's right. Plugged in two four way. She plugged in too. That's right. right. <laughs> I'm with me I'll be the one to mark you. Maybe. Oh, man. Go see. Yeah, on another note, we got to get 280 more subscribers to our YouTube channel. We already got a, well over, what, 30,000 hours of watch time, and we just start promoting and stuff. It's five, the requirements is 5,000 hours of watch time. We surpassed that. All we need is 200 and, what, 70-something more subscribers, and we can get monetized. So if y'all can go subscribe to CB248, That'd be perfect. We appreciate y'all. We show love and we all respond back to fans. That's what's up, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to them because um just keep it on it. Y'all niggas don't really be watching nothing on YouTube anyway. Either you're watching a bunch of reactions from a couple that's not together in real life. <laughs> or watching uh, <laughs> fake pranks. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Or uh, what else do niggas be watching? You're watching TikToks and whatnot. So yeah. um yeah, get some real content in, in your system, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. How many of these movies have you been in all of them? Well, you know, brother, we've been doing it all together. That's my brother. Okay. This, we a team. Brother, you know we a I've team. Been, I've been in three movies with him. I've been in, in five total. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. All right, all right. Now, which one do you think you did the best work in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, unplugged was that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, plugged in 248. Went crazy enough. That got us okay. the most buzz, I would that say. That got us the most buzz, for real, for real. Serenity Love, you know what I'm saying? With KKE. Okay. Entertainment. All right. You know, that was pretty much about me. You know what I'm saying? It was... Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. All right, now real quick, I need this answer. He not here. Don't even don't even look at him. He not here. <laughs> right here. Which one was your favorite one to do? Blood is a Which was one of my films. I appreciate that, fam, fam. Yeah.
Y'all must have rolled together or something. Oh, this is my brother to the end. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my brother. So what I'm going to keep it real. Like, the first one, we did it all about improv. We just, we freestyled the whole, the whole movie, the first one. Mm-hmm. The second one, bro came up with, like, you know what I'm saying? He came up with pretty much a vision for it. And it did a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? See, the one we're shooting right now, it's like a real, real storyline that we put together. And it's like, I'm, I'm one of them type of people. I'm just, I work better just in the element and just, just. Just being out and just about like I I can pre plan stuff, but I work better just on the spot. Like I'm like I'm like Kobe in the fourth quarter when we only got thirty seconds left. That's that's when I work best. Okay, All right. under pressure. Yeah, that's how I am. So now, Rue, you sent me a trailer mm-hmm. or a promo video. Yes, yeah. sir. Now what this is it for plugged in. It's, it's for plugged. It's it's actually a song that's on plugged in, but it was a promotional video for plugged in. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to play it before we come back, and then we're going to chop it up about it, man. We're going to take a little break, and then we'll be right back. So, not so radio. Definitely. Tap in. Definitely tap in, for sure. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why not? I like to. People tell me that all the time. We talk to you. My Instagram. So you good enough to be on Instagram, but you couldn't do the thing right now? Do what thing? No, because how I look. Say hello. How I look. I'm not dressed. I don't want to be in any type of scene. I, I need to dress properly. And I need to do my makeup and stuff. I'm tired. What he talking shit, I'm about to come You are a star. You know what's going on.